everyone. Today's story is Tommy Tummy Ache. This is a favourite story of mine. It's got some really great pictures and a funny storyline. Tommy Tummy Ache by Joseph T. Garcia and Chris Javons. Tommy Tummy Ache. In a little red school by a little blue lake, such a very clever boy named Tommy Tummy Ache. Some students learn slow while others learn quick. Tommy learnt very fast to pretend he was sick. Tommy hated school, there was nothing worse. So he'd fake an illness and be sent to the nurse. Some more rhymey words in this one, boys and girls. Tommy never did homework and rarely took a test. Grammar was boring, math a horrid pest. So test and pest. His teacher was doubtful, he could tell by her looks. He knew he had to be creative, so he studied medical books. Tommy faked the measles and a case of the mumps. He even made up an ailment that gave his skin lumps. Sometimes he'd have cramps, sometimes he'd be sneezy, often he'd be coughing, but mostly just queasy. Tommy mastered fake illness, not a day did he skip. He had it all figured out until the big class trip. Class trip Friday at Wild World. Bring water and snacks. Bus leaves at 8am sharp. Don't miss out. They were off to Wild World to ride until dark. No sickness planned today at the Great Amusement Park. Tommy flew off the bus right to the first attraction. The famous flying Ferris wheel with a super spinning action. But his teacher blocked his way, which made him uneasy. She said he could not ride because he might get queasy. The coaster was forbidden. They really must be cautious. With all the dips and drops, Tommy would likely get nauseous. No ghost mansion either. They must show some restraint. With all the scary monsters, Tommy surely would faint. The falling flume was nixed. The water was just too freezing. Because he had a cold, Tommy might start sneezing. His hopes of riding bumper cars, Tommy's teacher quickly dashed. With all his weakened muscles, he'd likely get whiplash. Tommy hid amid the crowd as they reached the hurling comet. But alas, his teacher found him, fearful he would vomit. Ride after ride, poor Tommy sat out. The day was a complete mess. He pleaded with his teacher, but knew he must confess. Oh, teacher, I'm so sorry. I've been sly as a fox. I was never really sick. I'm healthy as an ox. The teacher confessed also. She'd known it all along, but still he could not ride, for faking sick was wrong. Tommy, if you studied a great student you could be, you only need to try, work hard and then you will see. From then on, Tommy studied and took each test like he should. He stopped faking sickness and actually became quite good. One last thing to point out before this story ends, little Tommy Tummy Ache got his nickname from his friends. Now in that small red school by the little blue lake sits a very bright boy called Tommy Timmy Lake. The end. Hope you like that story.